everyone, Dawn here. This is my latest painting of my grandson Isaac. It's painted on watercolour paper, quite a heavy duty um, paper, quite thick. Uh, primed with gesso and I'm using the sight sight method as before. I must apologise for the quality of this bit of footage, it's uh, totally out of focus but it does improve as we go along. So as usual I start with an underpainting, um, looking at for my darkest darks and my lightest lights. Uh, this gives me the chance to explore uh, my tonal range within this painting. Isaac is actually sat in uh, my laundry basket here. He loves to play in this um, and we play cars. <laughs> So if you're wondering why I go to the effort of an underpainting every time, I like to paint in layers with oils. And I find that if I go, if I do an underpainting, then the next layer over the top has an impact on the colours that I apply afterwards. Um, if you've just worked straight onto white paper, it would give you a totally different effect. Uh, but I like coming out, coming from the darks to the lights, as you'll see later on when I start applying colour. So we start with the colour and I've started in the darkest area of his flesh and I think how I work and this is just literally just watching these videos is that I kind of build my layers up as if I'm applying layers of skin and I'll start with the darkest areas and work quite dark as you can see and slowly layer after layer um, the layers will become brighter until I'm, I'm finished at the top range of my top value range which was obviously the white of his hair. So I'm now beginning to work on the eyes, which as you can see, I've ignored all along. Um, I, I do save the eyes now while later on in the process, working more on the, the structure of the face rather than the eyes. The colours I'm using again are highly saturated and quite dark again. Um, this is just basically a base, base colour. Um, I will be painting over all this again.
this is the start of the next day um, and you probably didn't catch it there but what I actually do is um, paint all with the surface with just pure linseed oil wipe out the excess um, with just a, a bit of kitchen roll so it's not too saturated and the idea of this is so that you get a nice slick surface to work on so that you're not working just straight onto a dry surface so you can blend your paints more So as I'm working into this again, you'll notice how I'm going to a, a, a lighter range. Um, this enables me to sort of keep the darks as dark as they can be and um, keep my lights even lighter. So I, I just love working, you know, from light to dark like this. Um, I find that it just it just gives more of a realistic finish. So I'm working on the eyes again now as you see um, and I do apologise again because I'm blocking most of the video work with my hand but I just forget that you're there I do apologise. some sort of stick in the way of the painting that's uh, my mall stick which actually isn't a mall stick it's a walking stick um, of my late mother-in-law and I, I call it my, my Joan Over the years I've watched many a video like this, um, watching someone paint and I've, I've picked up so many tips and learnt so much just from watching somebody painting. It's just such um, a good way to learn. So now I'm finishing the roundness of his head and his hair. 
and you can see how the the dark of the under the underpainting has, has really paid off here because you can see the darkness of his, his skull in this corner looks incredibly dark compared to the lightness on the left hand side if you've enjoyed watching this please like and subscribe many thanks bye